Vegas, baby. Vegas. Oh my God, that phrase just brings me back to so many amazing times in Vegas. And so I'm gonna be doing the first of two episodes because you just can't do Vegas in one day. So we're gonna do the culinary first and the cocktail second, but you gotta have a martini when making up some oysters. So these are my oysters that we're gonna be doing casino style, as well as some mushrooms on toast. Two iconic dishes from Vegas. First, as always, we're gonna get the sauce going. So, I've got some double smoked bacon, and I'm gonna chop this up. So, it's usually Clams Casino that you think of, but Oysters Casino are amazing. And I love this dish. The first time I ever had them was at Piero's, just off the Vegas Strip, behind the wind and I fell in love with this dish. I mean, who doesn't love oysters? And then when they're baked with double smoked bacon, some savory tomato sauce, and uh, topped off with some provolone cheese and baked, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So I've got some red onion as well that I'm gonna chop up. I'm gonna actually saute these together. And so then that way, the onion takes on that beautiful smoky bacon flavor. And then we're gonna be deglazing it as well. And I'm gonna show you what deglazing is. It is literally the secret to making an amazing sauce because we get all the brownings off of the pan and makes it taste incredible. So there we go. We've got our onion, coarsely chopped is totally fine. And we're gonna to toss these into a pan, get the tomato sauce going, and then we're gonna shuck some oysters. So we're just gonna drop in our double smoked bacon and onion. Get that sizzling. So next we're gonna be deglazing the pan by putting in a little bit of red wine. So it smells amazing. We've got the double smoked bacon in here with the onions. And now we're gonna deglaze the pan. This is such a serious chef move. This gets all those round and tasty little bits off the bottom of the pan. Now we're gonna put in our tomato sauce and stir that up. While our sauce is getting ready and nice and thick, I'm gonna drop in my mixture of dried herbs and chili flakes. I'm gonna give that a nice little stir so it's well combined. Oh, and with that red wine in there, it's really gonna bring out all the great flavors of those herbs. So the double smoked bacon and onions are in the pan and just smelling amazing. I'm gonna have another little sip of my martini. Fabulous. Let's chuck some oysters, but first, we're gonna add down a bed of kosher salt. This is gonna help to stabilize the oysters and uh, when we flame them, or torch them, whatever you like. It'll also make sure that nothing catches on fire and the salt will take up a bit of the heat from the uh, kitchen torch. Plus it just looks really cool because, hey, oysters are round, so it's tough to be able to plate them with them falling all over the place. So let's grab some oysters. These are some Malpex and you wanna have a damp rag when you're doing this. I've got an offset oyster knife. You wanna make sure that you've got the rag in a good position so you don't wind up shanking yourself. So you wanna look for a bit of the joint inside, get it right in there into the muscle and to open it up and then go through and you just wanna make sure that you don't, as I said, cut yourself while you're putting it in. Ah! Just joking. Just joking folks, come on. I've been doing this a lot. So then you move your knife around and get it through, cut it off of the muscle, and there we go. 
Make sure you discard any of the little bit of shell that you might have flicked in. Cut it off the muscle so it slides back when you slurp it. Always smell to make sure that they smell great because they can be off. You always want to make sure that they are tightly closed. If they start to open, you got to toss them. If you've got a big bag of oysters or a box of oysters and one is open, you can kill all of your oysters just with one because remember, these guys are alive. you got to keep them alive. That's why they're on a bed of ice. So here's our first one. So whenever you're shucking, you always want to make sure that the rag is nice and damp. So it creates some friction between you and the shell. I'm not saying that you need to have friction when you're cooking, but it does help to be able to hold them. And then when you're opening them up, and again, I've got a little bit of shell on my knife, so I'm gonna wipe that up. And opening it right there, taking it off the muscle, cleaning it up. It smells amazing. There we go, those boys are ready to rock. Oh, so our sauce is now done. Now we're gonna make our mushrooms on toast. This is so simple. And it, I mean, first of all, who doesn't have mushrooms? Who doesn't have bread? So I'm gonna be using a mixture of Blackfoot and oyster mushrooms. So I've got these all together. I've got some cremini in here as well. And I'm gonna be doing just a coarse chop on them just to break them up. Now, always remember your mushrooms are going to shrink when you cook them. So I wanna have nice chunks in there to be able to build up all the flavor. This is sort of like a mushroom version of bruschetta. And uh, again, I had this for the very first time in Vegas and just the simplicity and flavor, I just loved it. So I'm gonna take all these, throw it into a pan with a little bit of butter and I'm gonna add some thyme to it as well. So when you want your thyme, you're gonna be taking some and then you're just gonna pull backwards. You can just smell it right now. So thyme, mushrooms, and then I'm actually gonna deglaze again using Jack Daniels honey but you can really use any kind of bourbon, any kind of dark spirit with a little bit of honey. You can do it yourself, not a problem. So I'm gonna saute the mushrooms first and then add in my herbs. I'm gonna allow the uh, butter to just kind of activate the, the wonderful fragrance just from the heat. So that's probably enough. I'm gonna chop this up. Still want it to be coarse, just enough to be able to get some great flavor over top of the mushrooms. And of course, this is gonna stick to the mushrooms when uh, the butter hits it. So our mushrooms are looking great. We don't wanna overcook them. We just wanna lightly saute so we get all that great flavor. Next, I'm gonna add in our Jack Daniels honey. This is gonna give it just such beautiful flavor. So I'm just gonna to toss in my thyme. So our mushrooms are done and I am going to put them into a bowl to reserve. But guess what? I'm not gonna be doing any dishes. You know why? Because I want all that great flavor to get absorbed by the toast that we're gonna be putting in here. So I've got some white bread. I mean, you can use anything, any kind of bread will do. I'm gonna slap this into the pan, let it toast a little bit, and then we're gonna dress it up. So our toast is perfect. I'm gonna add in our mushroom mixture. And this is gonna look so beautiful. This is a, such a great option, other than using tomatoes, using beautiful mushrooms, and you can use pretty much any kind of mushroom you want, it's gonna work. Uh, this combo I put together just because I really like Blackfoot mushrooms, oysters, and cremini, plus I could find them easily. And so I'm just gonna arrange this. Now I've got some cave aged Gruyere cheese. Again, use any kind of like Swiss cheese. You wanna have something that's got like a little bit of bite to it. You can even do cheddar cheese if you want. And I'm just gonna add this on 
You just want something that's gonna hold up and give a little bit of bite because we've got some nice earthy tones with the mushrooms and with the thyme. So we want something that's a little bit sharper and the Gruyere is always great for that. So, you ready to have some fun? Kitchen torch. Yeah, baby. So I'm going to melt the cheese instantly on top. Now, of course, you don't need to use a kitchen torch if you don't want to. And if you don't have one, you can just pop it in the oven and make it look awesome. All we want to do is just melt it and get it ooey, gooey, good. Look how awesome that looks. I know, it's just kind of fun to use a blowtorch with food. It's a little showy. But you know, Vegas is never showy, it's always demure. Beautiful, I'm gonna add a little bit of parsley on top. Beautiful. So I've got the sauce mixture and I'm gonna add just a little bit to each oyster. And the sauce is still nice and warm and it's thick, which is exactly what we want. And you can use any kind of cheese you want. You just want it to be kind of mild and complimentary. So mozzarella is fine, anything. Just because we've got so many flavors going in there, we just want that beautiful creaminess of the cheese. So next, just because we haven't used this enough, <laughs> I'm gonna torch it up and heat it. Clams Casino was actually created by Julius Keller while working in a Rhode Island casino. This is my version of it. Normally it doesn't have tomato sauce, they put bell peppers in, but I love the tomato on there and how gorgeous is that? So I'm gonna add in some onion sprouts just to add a little bit on top. And these are gonna stick beautifully onto the cheese. Oh, tastes awesome. And you know what? You can put any kind of sprouts you like on here. I just like the onion ones. I can find it. Great flavor. Let me clean this up. And that looks great. So guys, I can't wait for Vegas to reopen. I love it. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Here are your oysters, casino, mushrooms on toast, a little taste of my favorite pieces of Vegas. Cheers, until the next time, stay safe, keep cooking, be happy, and part two with Vegas Cocktails is coming right up. Cheers. Awesome. Don't mind if I do. Mm. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> wow.